Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to the third Space Station 13 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you all about the uh, medical stuff. And uh, this doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a medical job. I'm just going to be going through what uh, each of the first aid things do. So, um, I got the slider right here. By the way, they recently changed something. I'm not sure, but it seems like you have to double click things now. So I'm going to take this slider and I'm going to just left click on myself and I'm going to singe myself with it and then click it off, put it back into my pocket. So now if we get any first aid kit, I'm going to be using the standard one and we they all have a health analyzer. So if we left click on myself, you can see here, oh, well, it looked like uh, singeing myself didn't do much because I'm wearing my uh, protective suit. So let me just... Uh, Take that off real quick. Take this off as well. Okay, so if we go ahead and just singe my face a little. Um, doesn't look like it's doing anything. Alright, on second thought, uh, let me go find something to just kind of bash in my head then. So I can show you how to uh, analyze health. Um, here, this fork will be good. So if I, okay, uh, chest. So if I stab myself with three times, ooh, that's doing a lot of damage. You can see I'm I'm wearing these uh health the health scanner HUD glasses, and that's why you can see this health bar over my head. It's very useful, and you can see it over other people's heads as well. So um, now if we get the health analyzer, and I left click myself, you can see here, overall status 85 percent health. Um, you can see here are the damage specifics. There's four types of damage. Um, suffocation, toxins, burns, and brute damage. Brute damage is basically, that can be anything from fists, bullets, lasers, kitchen knife, anything like that. Uh, you can see temperature, uh, and right here you can see where the brute damage is coming from. Uh, it's coming from my chest. And it also shows oxygen level, bloodstream toxin, and uh, injury, burn injuries, brute force injury, all that stuff. So in order to uh, heal any sort of damage like that is brute, we're going to need these bruise packs. And here we can select where we want to heal ourselves. So I'm just going to hit the chest and left click myself, apply the bruise pack, and there you go, back to 100% health. Now if you have burn damage, which I'm wondering how I could do inflict burn damage onto myself. I think I might know a way I can do this, so hold on. Okay, so I was able to find a welder. I'm going to see if uh, this works, if I just weld myself in the face with this. Okay, it hit me in the chest, but I think it seems to be doing... Oh, yeah, that seems to be doing the job. Okay, so as you can see, that did a lot of damage to me. Uh, welders are pretty strong when they're turned on. So now if I take out the health analyzer and analyze myself, you can see I have um, burn damage now, because you can see here it's the third one, so it's burn. And it's in my chest and my head. So now I'm going to just use the ointment and hit myself in the chest, hit myself in the head. And then there you go, right back to 100 health. Uh, very easy to do, and same, you can analyze other people, just stand next to them, and yeah, it's very easy. So you have a few other first aid kits, uh, such as the oxygen first deprivation first aid kit, which has some um, inoprobaline, which stabilizes them. If someone, someone's like really close to dying, just hit them with as much as this as you can. Then you got Dexalin pills, which will uh, recover any oxygen damage. Uh, you have the fir fire first aid kit, which sometimes has a like a little flame on the front. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm not sure why. Which uh, has the Kelotane pill. Kelotane. I'm not exactly sure you pronounce it, but this uh, will heal burn damage. You got ointment and more inoprobaline. Inoprobaline and health analyzers, basically in each one of them. And then in our last first aid kit, we have the toxin first aid kit, which has antitoxin pills, which will take down anti or will take down the toxin damage, and some syringes of antitoxin, uh, which is very useful.
Alright, check this out. The CMO just uh, dropped his stamp on accident and didn't even realize it. So I'm about to fill myself out a paper that I'm going to give to the head of personnel saying I have access to virology so I can show you guys how to do surgery. But first I need to make a synthetic human. Alright, check this out. This is what the uh, paper says. Colton Thompson to have full access to medbay including my personal office. So I'm going to give that to So let, let this be a lesson to you all. If you have a head job, do not lose your freaking ID like that, or lose your stamp like that, because someone's going to get a hold of it, and they're going to abuse it. So now, if I go up into here, uh-oh. Well, doesn't look like he gave me access to that, so that's okay. But I do have access to this, so now to make a synthetic human. So I'm not sure if I called this uh, virology already, but it's actually geneticist lab. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Uh, I get them confused sometimes. So I'm gonna go to block 14, and what I need to do is get this below 800. So I'm gonna need to go to this one and. terrible at this, by the way. Okay, so now if I go to main menu, and open this. Okay, perfect. Awesome, it worked. So now I'm going to teach you all how to do surgery. Okay, so you guys can check out the uh, guide to surgery, but, um, Basically, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do depending on the situation. Uh, for now, we're just gonna. I wonder if we have anything to put him to sleep in here, which we do. So I got him all uh, set up, so he's not gonna be going anywhere. Not that he was going to anyway. So I guess I'll have to take his mask off and put this on him. So that way we can uh, get the this, which will get him to fall asleep, just gotta open up the valve, oh crap, oh god, that's not good, oh, I kind of forgot I had my mask on, oh shit, okay, it seems like I turned it off, uh, okay, hopefully I wake up. Okay, yeah, okay, I woke up pretty fast. That was a huge mistake on my part. Total newbie right there. But. Okay, so is this still open? Okay, well, here. I think I can open it when it's on him, I think. So let me go ahead and put that in his left hand. Hmm. Not exactly sure. Well, he's brain dead anyways. I guess he doesn't need to be asleep. So we're going to take out his um, appendix. We're going to aim for his groin. We're going to take the scalpel and just open that up. Open his abdomen up. So now we need to use the uh, this and clamp. There we go. Now we need to get the retractors to open up the incision, which would be these. Uh, do I need a... Hmm. I'm supposed to be able to use my retractors to open it, but it doesn't seem to be working. I wonder if I need to possibly... Oh, okay, that's because I had the wrong item on. Okay, yeah, let me use the retractors now. This should work. 
Okay, that'll open it up. Okay, now I need to use a scalpel to open up the, take out his appendix. Okay, so it's separated now. Now I just need to extract it with this. And by the way, following the wiki is going to be necessary. Okay, so there we go. Now we got his appendix right here. Hmm. Let's examine this. Which looks perfectly healthy. Okay, so now what we're going to need is this. Okay, so I don't really have anything to do with this, so I guess I'll feed it to him. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now let's do some brain surgery. So aim for his head. Let's get the scalpel. There we go. Now we're going to need to saw it open. There we go. Cut the connective tissues with this. Cut the spine off with the saw. And there we go. Alright. To put it back in, all you got to do is cram it back into their skull. Alright, well, now that we got this brain, I suppose we can go give it to the chef. Oh, uh, by the way, I guess I should also mention what these are. Let me get this guy. These up here are sleepers, and they're very, very useful for healing people. So we're going to just go ahead and pop this guy into... Let's get this one over there. Oh, I need to... There we go. So if you click on the little console the here, you can see uh, you can see they're reading, inject different things. You need to look on the wiki for what each of them do, and you can uh, heal certain damages without actually doing anything other than clicking a button. So I gave the brain to the chef. As you can see, he's holding it. Uh, looks like he's gonna microwave it now. I don't know what that's gonna make. That's interesting. you add anything else in there? He's adding some eggs to it now. Hmm. It looks like he's gonna make something with the brain, but I'm not exactly sure what. I've never really uh, been into cook all that much. Or the chef. I really want to see what he's making. I guess we'll, okay, there we go. He's turning it on now. And he's completely destroyed the microwave. So that ends our tutorial today for all the uh, medical supplies, stuff like that. Uh, Keep playing the game, learning new things each time, uh, check back for the next tutorial, whatever it may be, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and have a fun time playing PlayStation 13. See you next time.